How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. Flash Fortunes just added the adventure of 5M and 5M Pro to their website. So uh, let's take a look at the new features these printers have, starting with the one which I think will sell the most, the adventure of 5M. All right, so when I say that they've added it to the website, um, at the time of this recording, they haven't actually publicly released it. But um, what I've done is I've changed the Adventure of 4 Pro handle, as in the URL, to 5M and 5M Pro, and um, it's given me access to the pages early. So Flash Forge, if you watch this, maybe be a little bit more careful in the future. Uh, but if you like people to leak your stuff early, Keep doing it. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's have a look. Adventure of 5M, unlock potential. When creating a good companion is essential to help. Adventure of 5M is the perfect assistant for beginners to bring ideas to life and unlock your potential. Well, definitely, <clears throat> as per the leaks, looks like AP1P. But let's see what the actual features are. Auto leveling, okay. 4.3 inch touchscreen. Print size of 220 by 220 by 220. There we go. 220 cubed is the print size of the Adventure 5M. We'll see if the Adventure 5M Pro is bigger or whether it's the same uh, shortly. Uh, print speed, max travel speed 600. Okay. That's what I expected it to be traveling speed and not actual print speed. So is print speed going to be like 300? If so, it's still all right. Acceleration 20,000 mils. Yep. Core XY, of course. PI magnetic bending build plate. Quick little move nozzle, quick release nozzle switch printing mode. Now I saw this um, from the time that I've uploaded the other video to now, Flash Forge released that it will have the same sort of quick release nozzle system as the Adventure 4 and 4 Pro and the 3 have, which is fantastic because that system is so easy to remove and change out nozzles and you know, like for 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8s and so forth. So I'm assuming that means there's gonna be multiple different sizes that we'll see a little bit further down. Yep, so we know auto leveling. I'm assuming it'll be the same as like the Adventure 4 Pro maybe. With like a 30 point auto bed level or something like that. Dive into the details. Direct drive. Yep. Good for TPU. Vibration compensation. Now, I saw a lot of you guys comment on my video talking about whether it'll have active vibration compensation. And um, by the looks of it, it does. So this is definitely a Bamboo Lab clone, and it'll be I'll, I'll be very interested to see how it prints compared to it. And I'm trying to get my hands on one ASAP. <laughs> I really want one. I really want to test it out, especially because I got the um, X1 Carbon back there. So realistically, I'd like the Pro to compare with that, but uh, we'll see if I can get one. Print times quicker. Yep, that image is very low quality, by the way. Hopefully, they upgrade that. Ah, here we go. Quickly switch 0 0.6, 0 0.8 mil nozzles. So we got 0.4 by default. Then you have a 0.6 and a 0.8 mil. TPU. So it's definitely made for printing TPU. 0.6 mil nozzle recommended. All right. Well, I think that's like one of the only printers Flash Forge has that is made for TPU. I think it's the Finder 3. This... And potentially, I know others can print it, but what's actually rated for, like made for it. I think it's this, the Finder 3, and there's one other printer, but it's it slipped my mind. So we're just gonna forget about that for now. Okay, well, there is one thing I want to say already. They've already updated this since last time I viewed it. I viewed it earlier, like about an hour or two hours ago. They've already updated these images. So this might not even be the final thing when it gets uh, released to public, but... um. We'll see. <laughs> Build play, quick release. So wait, there's a 0 0.25 as well. Okay. So we've got 0 0.25, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8 nozzles for it. Flash print five. Yep, obviously. Makes sense. That's going to be a, an interesting thing when we get down below, whether they have options for other slicing softwares. Filament run out. Fantastic. Power loss recovery. Fantastic. High speed filament. Awesome. Flash print five. Already know about that. Some nice images here. The prints look good, to be fair. All right, parameters. Print speed, max 300. Okay, travel speed, 600. 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0.25. 2A degree max extrude temp, max platform temp, 110. PI plate. 
PLA, PTG, and TPU. Then you've got also PLA, CF, PTG, CF. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Size. Software, that's what we want. Slicing software, flash print 5. Windows. Yep, Mac. Input types. Compatible slicing software. Prusa Slicer! That's what I was hoping for. So Prusa, Cura, and Orca as well. Okay, I haven't used Orca, but the fact that you can use it on flash print, Prusa, Cura, and Orca might be a bit of a selling point for this printer. I think this is definitely going to appeal to more people now that that's an option and it's not limited to Flashprint 5. Obviously, it will depend how well the printer works with these slices, but I guess that's a thing to test. If I get one, I'll test it, 100%. Wi-Fi, Ethernet, USB, yep. All right, cool. So that's the Adventure 5M. Now, let's take a look at the 5M Pro. Now, it says watch video. Oh, the video's here. This wasn't here when I watched it before. Okay, now I don't know if the no audio thing's a me thing or whether it's actually the page, but this didn't have a video linked to it about an hour ago. So that's sick. But um, I think this is already released on their YouTube channel. But it does look good. Alright, it's just a loop, but that looks really cool. Auto bed leveling, yep. Quick, quick lease. That should be quick release nozzle. <laughs> All right, it's the same speeds. I do like this design. It's very similar to like Bamboo Lab. Very similar. So I feel like if I did buy this printer or anyone who has a Bamboo Lab printer, you might be, you might feel a little bit at home with this sort of design. Auto leveling again. Yep. First layer. PI, quick release, same, yep, all that's the same. So we know that this is enclosed, but I'm wondering if that's the only change. It's starting to look like it, potentially. Direct drive, all the same. So it's all the same internals as the 5M. Vibration compensation, cooling, yep. PLA, PLA. ABS, multi-material application, which is not a multi-material unit. I got a bit uh, excited when I saw this the first time. I was like, what multi-material unit? But um, no, they're just saying you can print different materials like TPU and so forth and carbon fiber composites like PLA carbon fiber, PTG carbon fiber, high speed filaments as well. It does have a filtration inside of it. So inner and external and an activated carbon filter as well. So that's an upgrade, the circulation here. So that means you should be able to do ABS, all that sort of stuff. So we'll see if it actually mentions them down below. I know it mentioned ABS here, but it hasn't mentioned like ASA or anything like that. So, but you should be able to print ASA if you print ABS. Automatic shutdown. I don't think it said that on the 5M, did it? Did the 5M have automatic shutdown? No, okay, so the 5M Pro has automatic shutdown. The 5M doesn't. Has power loss, has a built-in camera. Did the 5M have a camera? I swear the 5M had a camera, did it not? No, did the 5M not? So the 5M doesn't have a camera. Right. So the 5M Pro has a camera, has automatic shutdown. All right. So there's two perks, as well as, you know, obviously being enclosed. Now let's have a look at the tech specs. Same print speed. And surprisingly, the same build size. Oh, they do have ASA written here. Okay, okay, cool. It wasn't there before. All right. So, essentially, let's just check the rest. I'm assuming it's going to be the same, which is going to be Prusa and all that. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, the only advantages of the 5M Pro of the 5M are the automatic shutdown, the built-in camera, it being enclosed, and inner and external circulation filtration otherwise they're essentially the same machines so i wonder what the price point is gonna be that's gonna be released later today i think if not if they don't release the pricing today i think it's gonna be like probably a week or two by now that you'll probably get pricing so um yeah very interesting first look at these printers i'm still keen 
I think I definitely prefer, like, if I was to buy one, I'd buy a 5M. But I think based on the fact that I have an X1 Carbon, I kind of want to buy a 5M Pro for a comparison video. But stick around. Hopefully, we get one. And um, I'll bring some more uh, videos in the future. And uh, I'll link down these below so you can go have a look at the website itself. And uh, probably by the time this gets uploaded, the video will actually be out. So, um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be purchasing one of these printers. And as always, happy printing.